What is a solar eclipse? Chapter 3 Space Partners Earth has a partner in its orbit around the sun. It's moon. The earth and moon travel together. The sun has gravity that keeps the earth in orbit around it. The earth has gravity too. This gravity keeps the moon close in an oval shaped path. So the moon orbits earth while the earth orbits the sun. The moon is made of rock. Its surface is not smooth. It has flat plains, high hills, and deep valleys. Craters dot the surface. These round holes are left, are left over from exploded volcanoes or spots where space rocks crashed into the moon. One orbit of the moon around the earth takes a month. And because the orbit is oval shaped, sometimes the moon is closer to the earth and sometimes it's farther away. Just like the earth spins on an axis, so does the moon. It completes a spin once each month. That means that the same side of the moon is always facing Earth. The moon seems to glow, but it does not give off its own light. People on Earth see the sun's light being reflected by or bouncing off the moon's surface. The side of the moon facing the sun looks bright, and the other half looks dark because it is in shadow. Because of the way the moon orbits the Earth, we don't always see all the moon's bright side over a month's time. The different amounts of the moon's bright surface, we can see the moon's phases. During a new moon, the side of the moon in shadow faces Earth, so we can't see the moon in the sky. Next comes a waxing crescent, then the first quarter, then a waxing gibbous. Waxing means getting bigger. The halfway point of the phases is called the full moon. That's when the moon looks like a full bright circle in the sky. This is the bright side of the moon. After a full moon, the moon seems to grow smaller. It becomes a waning gibbous. Then the last quarter and a waning crescent. Waning means getting smaller. Finally, the moon seems to disappear when it is in the new moon phase. The shadowed side of the moon faces the earth again. The moon is in the sky during the day, but the sun's light is so bright that it makes it harder to find. The sun and the moon look like they are about the same size, but the sun is actually about 400 times wider than the moon. They appear the same because of their distances from earth. The sun is about 400 times farther away from Earth than the moon, so they look the same size when we gaze at the sky. Comparison of the width of the sun and moon versus their distances from Earth, not the scale.